I'm so excited for this. I love a good craft project. <laughs> this is going to be a lot it's of fun. Gonna be it's so dangerous. I, I love know. It. I can't stand it. Jacob Morris is here for another edition of Morris Code of Weather. We are making a snowstorm in a jar. Mm, it, are. It, good timing. It's coming to the end of the winter season. Some of us still want some snow, right? Some of us did Yucky. get some snow last night, but we are going to make one that you can do at home. If you're still longing for some snow, yeah. we'll make it right here We're gonna do it in right the mason here. jar. So let's go to the graphics because we did have some snow in parts of the state last night, mostly in southeastern North Dakota. Carrington, one inch. Fort Yates, 1.4 inches of snow. Fargo got three inches of snow. And we still have some time to see a little bit of snow this season. Usually our last measurable snow doesn't come until the beginning to middle of April and the record latest for some measurable snow in our area is not until the middle or end of May. So there's still some time for some real life snow but if you want to make some in your own home this is an easy experiment that you can do. These are the only ingredients you need. We have a mason jar uh, that's cleaned out. We're using just empty pasta sauce jars for our experiment today. Baby oil, you're going to need Alka-Seltzer tablets and then some glitter to spice up the experiment. Ah and some white paint. So we've done a little bit of prep beforehand. We can come back to where we are here at the desk. And what we have is a uh, mason jar filled about two thirds of the way up with baby oil. Then we have a diluted mixture of white paint and water. You don't need a whole lot of paint. Most of this is just water and then stir it up. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of this white paint mixture and pour it into each of our jars. So let's go around Kay. and do that. So, so what's going like to happen? So. Yep. What's going to happen is the I white paint too? and Please. water mixture is going to sink to the bottom because water is more dense than the oil. The baby oil is less dense. So that's going to be at the top. So it's going to go to the top. Yeah. Yep. So the paint's a little bit uh, more dense. Correct. So yep. now we're going to put a little bit of that spice in each one. Paint stripping. I have the <laughs> oh, rundown. No. I have the rundown right there. Okay. We're going to put a little glitter, a glitter in each of ours. Okay. All right. You can put glitter in yours. Do you want some, or can I have it all? Oh, I'll take a little. I don't That's a lot. I, I guess I'll take a little. <laughs> don't worry about me. I guess I'll take the rest. I don't allow. Oh, mine's going to be pretty. <laughs> I don't really allow glitter in Joy, my house anymore. you still the anymore. glitter, I guess, right? So, what's going on? You got a blizzard it warning. Out, it comes out really fast. I got flurries. You got a blizzard warning. <laughs> what's really going to kick this off is the Alka Seltzer tablets. Uh, so we're going to okay. take those yep. tablets, okay. break them up into halves. Halves. And okay. then plop them in, and it's going to go plop. crazy. Plop, 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 snowstorm. Fizz. Ooh, ooh, a little so splash. Carbon ooh. monoxide bubbles start to form. Oh, look at that. that is the, neat. Uh, look at that. seltzer tablets react with the water. Just one tablet or more? Keep as much as you want. As the more you put in, the crazier it's going to get. Well, what if I do a full one? Will, go, it, like, will go like, do it. like the uh, the Coke and the <laughs> Mentos? Mentos? That's I don't think our studio too. manager would be too happy with that one. <laughs> <laughs> if we put a lid on it, it might create some kind of a, you Okay, now if a real snowstorm was this pretty with all these blue... Glittery. Look at that. The blue glitter for effect. Yes, yep. I love it. Yeah, you know what? Yours is better because it's it's you know the interstate shut right now because right? it's so you are stuck boarding. at yeah. home, watch TV, make cookies, nobody's going anywhere in this. Best thing about this though is that you can put the top on, save it for later, and do oh, it really? over and over and over again. So you can, huh? So you can just make sure the lid's on very good. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> and you can you just shake you shake it or do you just let it it's gonna, like uh, a lava settle. lamp? Yeah. It's gonna settle. Yep. So do you add more alka seltzer? Yep, you just later? add more alka seltzer tablets and keep going. So How fun is that? Pretty simple experiment you can do at home and have some fun with the kids. This is good. You know, I've been here 20, I don't know, five years, and I've never done this, Jacob. This is a great one for the kids at school visits. Yes. Right? This is great. What a wealth of knowledge here. Yeah. Oh, a couple of uh, glitter still, pieces are left here. So <laughs> We're still, I still got a storm going. So this isn't exactly how snowstorms work in the atmosphere, oh, it isn't. right? <laughs> Close, It'd be great right? if glitter was falling from the sky, right? <laughs> no, but, that'd be awful. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine the mess? We'll go to the graphics, and there are some things we can take from this experiment and relate to the real world. What I was mentioning with the density differences, uh, the oil is less dense than the water, so the mm -hmm. oil is at the top of our jar initially. That happens in the atmosphere too. There's lower density of uh, mar uh, 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 molecules in the atmosphere the higher up you go, and higher density farther down to the surface. So what happens in the atmosphere to create this upward motion, to create clouds and snowstorms, is you need some kind of heating. So the sun heats the ground, and then the ground heats the air that allows for warm air to rise in the atmosphere. Yeah. What happens when that air rises is it cools and expands. When that happens, the water vapor molecules can condense into clouds 
and then you start off the whole process of creating snowflakes and a snowstorm and all of that. But some things that cr can create upward motion in the atmosphere, differential heating, which means the sun is heating different areas of Earth's surface at different rates. Fronts, so cold fronts and warm fronts create upward motion, and that creates clouds and snowstorms. And terrain as well, so big mountain uh, ranges can also create upward motion, and that allows for fun things to happen in our atmosphere. We'll come back to the camera right here, uh, dump in a few more of these Alka-Seltzer tablets to wrap it up, because this can keep going on and on, on and on. And so you just keep adding these, right? I yep. mean, it's just infinite. Creates you can just more keep, yeah. of a chemical reaction with, sure. the, uh, with the water. Oh, how cool it's is like that? It's like January in North Dakota over here, right? It just keeps snowing. And you wonder why it's so windy, too. It's the same concept, really, with how the sun heats the ground, the air rises, and it causes the circulation. It's kind of like that, too, with snow and, and weather in general. So, so much weather in a jar. It's so impressive. So cool. Perfect. What a fun thing, Jacob. Thank you for... Thanks for craft that is cool. time. <laughs> Can't wait to see and what I next learned week something. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. I know. That's really neat. So we'll again. have the full list of ingredients on our website a little bit later this evening. So okay. you can follow along at home. Yeah, everybody you want to do this at home. Yeah. Weather education is so important. Yes. Kids love it. Kids love it. Nice Grown-ups love it. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs>